flight booking engine flow while your traveler is choosing flight offers why don't you display the also seat map so that traveler can select their own seat with the seat map in this case not only you're gonna display the seat map also you will be able to upsell your chargeable seats in this video i'm gonna show you how to display the seat map with amadeus self-service api let's get started so now you remember these three quick steps for the flight booking engines search price orders so to display the seat map there are two ways to be implemented in this flow so first one is between search and the price the second one is after your flight is created you will be also be able to display the seat map so between the search and the price yes you will be able to use post method of the seat map display api which is the new api and if you want to display the seat map after the flight is created you will be able to use it as a get mode so as you can imagine if you display the seat map between search and the price uh, steps you will be able to display and offer the seat so that you can include the seat into your flight orders but if you're going to display the seat map after create orders it will be only for information only so let's try with the postman to shoot with the post method so here we are in the flight booking flow so i'm just gonna authorize myself first and now let's try to shoot light for example paris to madrid for one and i'm just gonna do the one way so now we received the flight and now i want to see for example the seat map of the first offer so in order to do this we need to go to the seat map api as i mentioned we have two methods post and get and if you want to use now in this after search step you need to use the post method so in the post method you need to as an input you need to put the offer data which already has been hard coded so we already grabbed that information from the search uh, api that we just did let's try to search so here now we receive the seat map which now we have the date of the flight and now we have this deck informations so there is a deck configuration facility and seats so let's go through these details to draw the seat map this is the um, response so we get the deck configuration we're gonna go through one by one to understand how to draw and how the flight looks like deck configurations so first of all we are gonna now see the width and the length so with this width and the length width seventh length 28 so meaning we have seventh row 28th of column so this is the basic deck configuration right now and if you look at first this start wing x so let's have a look this first so x means is considered as a coordinate it, the coordinate start from 0 0 x y so here it says start wing x from 6 and the wing is ended in 16 so co as a coordinate this is 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 0 5 0 6 0 so the wing is going to start from here till the 16. Right? So by looking at this uh, information, we can assume that the wing looks like this. So it starts from 6 to 16. So now if you take a look at exit row X, so meaning there is an exit in the row coordinate 9 and 10 so meaning 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 which starting the wing but go further 7 8 9 and 10 so in this row there is exit if you look at it it will be like this and now there we, let's continue with this one the one that the star seed row and seed row meaning that the seed row is starting from 5 and it will be ended from 31 so for example as it is start from five okay it start from five the first one right but if it is seat row is 31 
but it's a bit weird, right? Because we just draw that the table is going to be 28. But if you calculate from 5 to 31, it's going to be 27 only. So we don't know where, so meaning there will be one row is going to be empty on these tables. So that's where we are going to figure out from the another information, which is the seat details. So I'm not going to, I cannot assume right now that where is the 31 row is. So I will just skip for now. And start wings row and end wings row. So meaning the wings start the number row 11. So meaning the one the we already know the wings start from here. So meaning it's going to be 11 to 21. We have now high level of the deck information. So let's continue the seat details. So if you remember, we have a deck, facility, and seat details. So in these seat details, you will have all the information of each seat. Let's take a look one by one. For example, this is 5, 5A, which we already know that this is the 5 here. And it's, it's gonna, this 5A is coordinate 0, 0, so which meaning we will have this 5A. And if you take a look, like if you scroll down, 5B will be 1, 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, 5, 0, 6, 0. That's how you can draw this, like now, seat names. And now here you can see that this seat 5A costs 15 euro and its status is available. So this is how you draw one by one seat status and the numbers. And if you scroll down, you remember we don't know when is the, our seat finish. From here, 31A seat is available in the coordinate 26, 0, meaning it's here. So now we know that the last seat is here, then we can assume that this last line is not filled with the seat, which you can confirm uh, with the facility. From this information, now you will be able to fill all the others with the status and the seat numbers. Facility, as you can see, elements is going to return you the, all the facility information. So in this case, it's a rare uh, the, at the end of the flight uh, wing. Okay that is going to be located in the coordinate 27th, which the last line that we didn't have the seats. And how to read the seat status? If you take a look, as I mentioned, you will be able to check the seat status. And there are three types of seat status. First, available and block and occupied. So available means basically you will be able to book the seats. The block means seat is not occupied, but it is not being able to be booked. Usually it can be because of the passenger type or fare type. For example, this seat is only available for the business or this seat is only available for adult in case we want to book the flight for a child. And the last status is occupied. That seat is already occupied so you cannot book them. So this is how you the information about the each seat. So this is how you draw the seat map and if, or if you take a continue looking at this response so after all the deck information, we can also see, check the aircraft cabin amenity, such as power, seat, Wi-Fi, entertainment information is also available so that you can uh, display these information. So now let's try to book flight together with the chargeable seat. So let's take a look. I want to book this flight and I want to book this seat. Remember, we already search and now we have displayed this, this seat map and 5A seat that I want to book. So meaning, the, as a next step, we need to proceed the pricing. But it's the same as chargeable bags. We need to include this seat information in the offers data. So I'm going to just copy and paste the flight offer that I get. And then paste it here. And then in fair detail segment, I need, I'm going to add the seat information. So I'm going to add the seat information with additional services and chargeable seat number here. And I will to number 5A, which I, conf I saw that it was uh, available. So let's try to send this information. 
now we got the response got warning that the price is different yes because we already add the seat which was 15 euro so let's have a look as you can see the grand total 96 euro together with 15 euros from the seat so we got the price validated and the last step is what you need is to create uh, to um, to call the create orders with this uh, price information that you get returned from the flight offer price. That's it. So that's how you display your seat and even select the seat and book together with the seat. So now I have covered all the four advanced flight booking engine feature that I introduced at the beginning. But don't forget, this is not the only feature that you can integrate with your flight booking engine. In Amadeo Self Service API, we have a partner's API such as to display the safety information depends on your destinations and also travel restriction to display the COVID-19 information. And we have also hotel destinations APIs. 37 API is available for you to choose and integrate up to your business. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and see you in the next series.